You have all been working very hard lately, and I think you're getting a little burnt out. So I want to get you away from those computers and help you get your batteries recharged. So, uh, what hotel are we going to? Is it Ventana? I bet it's Ventana! Oh, no, 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 Post Ranch. Oh, Post Ranch, I love Post Ranch. I hear that they've got a fireplace and a hot tub in every room. Uh, gourmet yeah. meals and romantic ocean views. Um, yoga class with troubled celebrities. <laughs> Mini bars! Yes! Oh, Mini bars! bars. This is it. <laughs> this isn't Post Ranch, okay? This is not Ventana! <laughs> place old miners go to die. Well, that would certainly explain the smell. It doesn't smell nearly as bad as the crap you people have been handing in lately. Wait a minute. We're not being rewarded at all, are we? <laughs> you people have been getting soft and your work reflects it. Well, 48 hours of hiking, climbing, and grueling physical exertion may shake you up enough to bring back whatever spark it is that you once had. Trust me, by the end of the weekend, you'll be thanking me. This is totally unacceptable. What's the extension for the concierge? <laughs> 666, ask for Damien. <laughs> Ridiculous. Our work was not that bad. Not that bad. Someone should leave it in a flaming bag on a doorstep. <laughs> okay, now, now you're just being hurtful, huh? Well, if I didn't know that you people were capable of better, I wouldn't be putting you through this. <laughs> Sweet mother, what was that? If I'm not mistaken, it was Ned Beatty squealing like a pig. <laughs> Goodbye. Just calm down. You're perfectly safe. I built this cabin myself. Very rustic. If I ever decide to marry my brother, we'll have the ceremony here. Yeah, and I bet it's a great spot for working on your manifesto. I'm almost afraid to ask this, Jack, but where are the bathrooms? You just walk out that door and go about 50 feet. In which direction? Well, that's the beauty of this place. It doesn't make any difference. Who gets a bear? That's right, Todd. It's the Northern California knocking bear welcoming us to the forest. Hey, Dave. Hey, Jack. Hey, everybody. This is Ranger Dave. Hey, Hi, Ranger Dave. Dave. Just thought I'd check in on you. Make sure you folks had everything you need. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Well, if you have any problems, Ranger Station is just two miles due east. <laughs> Great. If Yogi steals one of our picnic baskets, we'll know who to call. <laughs> That's real funny, miss. Now, some people seem to think that the forest ranger is just a boob in a funny scout uniform. At least until they get lost for a week and end up eating their own feet. <laughs> that happens? More often than you care to know, son. <laughs> Good night, folks. Good night, Dave. Let me uh, get this door for you. Thank you. I believe you, you dropped this. No, I didn't. No, no, no. I'm sure you did. <laughs> He's crazy, send help. <laughs> Nope, not mine. <laughs> nice try, Luis. It's not mine. It must have been left here by your last guest. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm holding a hatchet, and I'm going outside to chop some wood. You're gonna love this place. Um, is anyone else thinking Jack Nicholson in The Shining? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a morning. Was that a sunrise or what? Yeah, Jack, it was I want the hot bus right now. <laughs> Jack, if God wanted me to see the sunrise, he would have made it later in the day. Please tell me there's coffee. Duffel bag, side pocket. But you're gonna have to make your own fire to heat the water. I can't wait for water! Oh. You want some powdered milk to wash that down? No thanks, I eat mine black. <laughs> Look at you people. You are in one of the most beautiful places on God's earth, and all you're doing is complaining. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe we should try harder. But I think it would be easier if we had some food in our stomachs. Yeah, I know, I We're hungry, Jack. Look, I'm not an ogre. Of course you'll have breakfast. 
Now, everybody read these over carefully. Please tell me these are menus. No, they're individual trail maps. And at the end of each trail, breakfast. Um, my breakfast is in dirt? <laughs> no, it's in Tupperware. Oh, great. I've heard possums can break into coolers and make sandwiches. <laughs> well, then you better hurry, because after breakfast, we're gonna go rock climbing, spear fishing, and finish with a two-mile blind walk down the mountain. <laughs> I, for one, refuse to shimmy down a pine log for a cranberry bran muffin. Yeah, Jack, this is bogus. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is wrong with you people? Haven't you ever heard of adventure? Haven't you ever heard of challenge? Yeah, it's a brand of butter, and I'd like a slab of it on a fluffy croissant, you Sierra Club sadist. <laughs> okay, fine. If that's the way you all feel, then leave! Take the truck! Go back to your VCRs and your shower massages and your ready-made salad in a bag. <laughs> I'm gonna hitch back with a tomato farmer who's got great stories about dust bowls and bull weevils and his one-night stand with Minnie Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, he seemed a little upset. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think we should do? If we hustle, we can get brunch in Carmel. Let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't leave without Jack. Why? Because it makes you feel bad? Because he's just doing it for our own good? No. Because he took the damn keys! Jack? Wow, he's already gone. The man moves like a puma. Okay, everybody. Let's fan out. I don't care what it takes. Get those damn keys. Oh, and his gas card! <laughs> Jack! Jack! Excuse me, have you seen a, a, a man in a, a red shirt come by here? No, I haven't seen anyone all morning. Oh, hello. <laughs> having some, some trouble with your uh, camper? Yeah, the jets in the hot tub just won't work. I don't know anything about electric wiring. I mean, there's not much call for it when you're a massage therapist. <laughs> Perhaps that's why God sent me here. Hey, Sam, we're in luck. There's someone here to help us. Uh, Sam, Sam is inside. That was nice uh, for you. Uh, what uh, I really should uh, uh, look uh, for my friend, uh, so, you know. Oh, are you going to help us? Thank you so much. He can't stay. He has to go look for his friend. Well, actually, he's, he's not that good a friend. <laughs> Let's uh, take a look at the hot tub, right? So, uh, Sam, uh, now what do you do? Oh, I'm a lingerie model. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> Jack? Jack? How'd you find me? Followed your tracks. Solely your left boot says Imberland. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. Let me guess. My speech shamed everyone, and they feel horrible, and they sent you here to apologize. Uh, actually, you forgot to give us the keys to the truck. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Sticks in reverse. Right. Come on, Jack. What's really going on? What are you talking about? Well, that scene back at the cabin wasn't just because we wouldn't play Georgia the Jungle with you. <laughs> something else, isn't it? Oh, right. I dragged you all up here and spent half the night drawing maps and burying food when what I really wanted to do was bury Margot. Is that what you think is going on? <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> But uh, if you'd like to talk any more about what's not going on... Okay. All right, all right. Maybe things aren't altogether blissful at home. But this isn't only about Margot. I really did want to motivate you guys. Well, it worked. You motivated us. 
to hunt you down and kill you. Well, what do you know? I'm better than I thought. Come on, Jack, this is silly. Come home with us. You see, Susan, that's the difference between us. You want to go home. I wish I could say something that would help. Oh, don't feel bad, Susan. My therapist hasn't said anything that helped in six years. And I pay her a hell of a lot more than I pay you. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you on Monday then. Bright and early. Okay. Gee, what's that? Oh, uh, it's probably an Indian painting. This place is full of them. Oh, apparently, this one dates back to the class of 76, which rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say they were ancient Indians. If you want to see the interesting stuff, you got to go further back. What's there? Bats. A whole ceiling full. You want to see? <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time a guy used that line. <laughs> oh, come on. It's harmless. And they're amazing. It's thousands of hanging, silent creatures creating this living, breathing ceiling. It's not that far. Oh, I don't know, Jack. I do. You're going back to civilization with at least one lasting memory. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. I hate spiders. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Now take a deep breath. And another. Well, this is a lasting memory, all right? We have to stop this. What? This, this, this. <laughs> We're in a cave, Jack. And there's hugging and comments and, and signals are being sent and it's just not right. What are you talking about? I was just trying to calm you down. Oh, no, no, no. No, that was not a calm you down hug. Calm you down hugs don't have that little extra hug time at the end. <laughs> Susan, it was nothing. I think you're reading way too much into this. Oh, right, right, right. It's me. <laughs> I'm imagining things. No, I, there was a spider web. You were scared. I hugged you. You went insane. End of story. Fine. Hello? Hello? Vicky? Louise? Susan? Where is everybody? I just had the most amazing thing happen to me. That's nice. Get lost. <laughs> so you don't understand. I, I've had a breakthrough. I've been touched by the warm hand of nature. Yeah, that makes two of us. <laughs> and I'd like to get back to it. Sorry, I didn't know you were on a little field trip of your own. <laughs> it's okay, son. You want to tell me what happened? <laughs> well, sir, it was a raccoon, I think. Our eyes locked and we had this totally amazing connection. That's probably Shirley. She was raised by some of the rangers. Yeah, surely. That suits her. Excuse me. Someone's campfire could use a little more wood. Be right there, Rustin. Doesn't anybody knock anymore? What the hell is going on here? Well, Jack, you said we should get our batteries recharged. I was just getting a jump. Dave? What can I say, Jack? It was the call of the wild. <laughs> Has anyone seen Susan? We were all out looking for you. Oh, I can see that. I twisted my ankle. <laughs> I met a raccoon. I don't care. Now, we were together, but then we got separated. And she should be back here by now. We'll form a search party. Well, you might want to put your pants on first. <laughs> Susan, I've been looking all over for you. Are you all right? Fine. After tripping and falling down a ravine, I'm just peachy. Well, if you hadn't stormed out of the cave like that, it probably wouldn't have happened. Thank you very much, but I don't think I need any more protection from you, you big wuss. Well, can, Susan, can we talk about this later? You guys were alone in a cave. <laughs> and nothing happened in the cave. Then how come she came running in, and how come you're a big wuss? <laughs> um, because... Because there was a big spider web. Yes, yes, a spider web, it was huge. Yeah, and it freaked Jack out. 
<laughs> well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Oh, I would. He screamed like a girl, like a pretty little girl. <laughs> so, you're afraid of spiderwebs? No, no, and I, and I must say, that is not how I remember it. Oh, you're right, you're right, Jack. It's just me, you know me, I'm crazy. What kind of spider web was it? It doesn't matter! <laughs> it's still too painful for him to talk about. Uh, okay, okay, that's it, that's it. You're all having a horrible time and you want to go home? We're going home. Not me, I, I love it here. Me too. <laughs> I said we're going home. Now where the hell's Luis? Goodbye, Louis. Thank you for fixing the hot tub. Well, uh, thank you for the memories. <laughs> it's the Mitzy Spider Girl of the Water Spout. Down came the rain. All right, very funny. Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider man. Just shut up. Camptown Spider sing his song. Do that. Camptown Spider can fight my song. I hate you guys. <laughs>
let people have dogs and cats and birds. I don't care. The answer's still no. Well, Shirley? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to take you back, buddy. Come on, don't do that. I tried. Would you at least look at me? Camp down spider, sing this song. Camp down spider, whip five miles long. I hate you guys. <laughs>